Today, I'm getting on board one of the world's most luxurious planes, a private Airbus ACJ319. To put it simply, think about the last time you flew commercially. Take all the seats out and refit with a lounge, bedroom and shower. I think you get the picture. This is special. Priced new at a mind-blowing $80 million, this Airbus corporate jet has space for 19 lucky passengers flying at 39,000 feet. It's operated by Swiss-based Comlux, who also happen to fly one of the most famed jets in the sky, the BBJ-767, dubbed Sky Lady. Without any more to say, let's head over to DWC Airport in the United Arab Emirates and get on board. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. You join me today in Dubai where I'm going to be having a look at one of the most unique planes that you have ever seen. The Comlux ACJ319 where I've got special access to go and take a look on board. So without giving too much away, let's go inside and I'll explain a little bit more about what makes this plane so special. Well, here we go then. I hope you're ready. Let's step into the shoes of the 1%. Hi there. Hello, welcome. How's Hi. it going? Welcome. Thank you so much. Upon entering the jet, you're met with, well, space. Given that this space would usually be rows upon rows of seats, it's surreal to see an almost palatial level of room and comfort. Okay, so as I'm more akin to flying commercial, I think it's best we get some help to show us around today. I'm actually joined by Oliver over here to explain. Hello Oliver, how's hey, it going? welcome on board. It's great to meet you. Now Oliver is too much of a gent to mention, I'd totally forgotten to remove my sunglasses. I mean, come on, I'm not exactly Casey Neistat, but I'll come to my senses in three, two, one. Well, I'll take my sunglasses off, I just realised I don't need to wear those inside, do I now? So the front of this uh, ACJ319 is a nice open VIP lounge dining area. This is where uh, passengers come to socialise. Yeah. Uh, you know, it feels like an apartment, like a hotel. My experience of a, an Airbus A319, I know it's a slightly different variant, but the same sort of uh, size of this aircraft, I'm familiar with going on my holidays from London to Spain. Instead of me sitting in, I don't know, maybe business class just here, uh, it's a completely different experience. So sorry, sorry to interrupt yeah, you there. Yeah, I just a bit, my, bit blown away. <laughs> yeah, I think one of my favourite things with these uh, ACJs, you know, similar to the other VIP airliners, there's there's so much space on board. So you know, normally if you're on a traditional business jet, if you're sat down having a meal, you'd be touching elbows. There wouldn't be space between the seats. Yeah. And you'd be in a much more narrow seat. These, these are like big armchairs, you know, it's it's like being at home. So how many of your friends can you take with you on your dream ACJ flight? Well, Oliver explains to me that 19 is the most amount of passengers most private planes are certified for, including this one. There are, however, some exceptions. Of course, you have a another another jet as well, isn't it? A, a 767, am I right in saying? Exactly, yeah. The so, uh, yeah, I've yeah. seen a, a little bit about that on, online. Famous, is that limited to 19 as well, then? The difference with the 767 is that she's registered on our Aruban AOC. Yeah. Um, whereby we're allowed to have more than 19 passengers. Oh, I see. I've got you. Yeah, and that aircraft is quite special. It's got a 15-hour range, uh, even well. with 51 passengers. 300 bag capacity. Yeah, it's used by yeah. heads of states. And Another world. Another, another level. Back to the ACJ, what about beds? I mean, of course, there's the private bedroom we're looking at in a second, but what about the other guests? We can have more people sleeping in this area of the aircraft as well. Yeah. Um, up to five in this space. I've got you. So these lie flat and we put... Them oh, I see they fully lie flat, wow. Yeah, so we lower the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We put single mattresses. So we can have two here, uh, one on the divan, um, another one on the front of club two. Yep and then another uh, one bed on the other divan. Wow. Before we go take a look at the bedroom, shower, and whole other section of the plane, let's go take a look at the business end of the aircraft, the flight deck. Hello. Hey Welcome guys. Reserve, join Hello. Us. Thank That's you so great. much. It's, uh, it's great to, to see you. Uh, office in the world. Oh, this is the best office, the best seats, front row seats, I love Definitely. it. <laughs> so welcome to this ACJ, which yep. is an Airbus corporate jet. Yep. So what is the difference between a normal Airbus and a corporate jet? Do we apply a specific protocol to convert them into corporate jets aircraft? Yep. So we had additional communication tools, communication tools sometimes, we had an air stairs, yep. but the main change comes in the fact that we increase the total fuel yep. from 19 to up to 34 by adding an auxiliary cargo tank in the hold. 
and the, and the range differences of when you're adding that additional fuel tank, what does that mean to where you could have gone and that now where you can go? From with... the original 3,000 nautical mile, let's say, you can have up to 4,200 nautical mile. Yeah. In, in figures, it says a London to Miami. Yeah. It's a, it's a Dubai to London winter time. Right. I think it's time we go take a look at what we've all been waiting for. The bedroom is in the middle of the cabin and we don't have one bed, we've got two beds. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. This is not what you're used to seeing on a plane, is it? So how <laughs> fantastic would it be to wake up here in the clouds? Oh my God, I, it's, a, it's an absolute dream. Because I think the other thing as well is, yes, of course, you've got the, the plane windows, but this could very well be on board a luxury yacht, or indeed, it could very well be an apartment. Dressing table as well, and uh, as we were talking about earlier, the adjoining uh, ensuite shower oh my goodness. and lavatory. This is goals, I think, in the frequent flyer world, you know, being able to shower on a plane, <laughs> the promised land of flying. But of course, when you're flying on board here, it's not like you've got an allotted five minute shower time. Yeah, you could you can take your time. That's incredible, <laughs> isn't it? Um, so of course, the, the throne, <laughs> the loo with a view. Now, one thing I, I, I do on the channel, I do loo reviews. So when you're looking at more luxurious experiences, that then they come with showers and, I mean, various different things. Like some of the spaces, especially on the A380s, they're yeah. like, um, you know, proper sized bathrooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, they still feel like a plane. But what's, yes. what's incredible about this is, again, it feels like an ensuite. It's I mean, a hotel. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is like a, it's absolutely like a hotel. I can um, leave you to it if you want. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> um, I love seeing the Morton Brown amenities. That's one of my personal favourites, to be honest. So, uh, good, good, yeah, good. nice yeah. touch. I like that. And, um, and yeah, this the, the shower in here. Lovely. Now, at this point, you may think that's it. Oh, no. There is more. 24 meter long aircraft, so there's still a lot more space to have a look Goodness at. Goodness me, you even forget that there's a whole other area here. So here we've got 20 business class seats. You know, the, the recent charters, the trend we've seen this year is that friends will pitch in all together mm. and go on holiday to the Maldives or to Europe. Yeah. And this is where, you know, the guys want to have a nap or yeah. just chill out while the others are socializing at the front of the cabin. I, I'm going to ask that. I mean, who has to. Uh, get the benefit of the bedroom. Is that, they, oh, that's that, that is, that's going to be a coin flip, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So, Oliver, who else charters these flights? Obviously, we're, we're in the Middle East. The aircraft spends a lot of time here. So, yeah. with this configuration, it's also very popular with families. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, the family would be at the front and the entourage and the, the support staff at the back. Yeah. Um, and it's got a fantastic baggage capacity. You know, you can take 50 large bags. Uh, so there's no issue with you having to be like, oh, you can only take one one bag with you. It's really whatever you, it's, it's your preference, isn't it? If you're exactly, travelling yeah. with three, four, five bags or whatever, you're going to be able to do so. Can we show you the back of the... Yeah, let's have a look at the, the yep. back. So we have a, a full galley at the oh, back. Oh, wow. This is where most of the service will, will happen. Yeah, I've got you. There's a smaller galley in the front of the cabin as well. Oh, and there's another, service. I see there's another bar from there, yeah. so if... A, uh, a lavatory here as well. Oh, lovely. Another loo review there. Not some more molten brown, I love that. <laughs> and the crew have their own lavatory at the front as well. Oh, so I see. Perfect. So there's three, three, uh, three loos on yeah. board. I've got you. So if the passengers want absolute privacy, yeah. they can have it. They can get it. And that, as they say, is that. A special thank you to Oliver and the Comlux team for inviting me on board today to lift the veil on an aircraft I previously knew little about. Well, there we go, guys. What an experience. I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me. Let me know what you thought in the comments below, as always, and I'll catch you all again next week.